Delta State Governor Right Honorable Sheriff of Uruguay has urged the Ovie of a rural kingdom in Ugeli South Local Government Area of the State, His Royal Majesty Clement Ogonere Kuve Ikolo Urupe I, to unite the people of his kingdom. Governor of Uruguay gave the advice when he received on a cursive visit the rural Urubu monarch and his wife who were in government house to express appreciation to the governor for the role he played while he was in military custody. Our server correspondent Apologero Friday reports that the governor who congratulated the monarch for his release noted that God had delivered him, adding that the task before him was to put the people of Urubu together to strengthen sustainable peace and unity in the area. You went and submitted yourself. Because you are innocent, you have been released. They want you to fear. You are against the regional rulers. Does anyone that could not like, they will face the wrath of the law. I told them when I went to visit them. And I'm happy today you have been released. The charge before you today is to put a wall together. Let your people be united. Unite with your people. Because you cannot rule outside your kingdom. You cannot be, you cannot be king in London. Because in UK, you cannot. You are beginning to office. Unite with your people. So that the innocent people will not suffer. On his part, the Honorable Monarch, who was accompanied by members of Delta State Traditional Rulers Council, led by the Chairman of the Council and the Oroje of Okwe, His Royal Majesty Major General Felix Mojapero, retired, said he was in Government House Asaba to express his profound appreciation to the Governor for the role he played towards his release from military custody. He also applauded President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the immediate past Governor of the State, Senator Ifani Okowa, and the three senators from Delta State as well as others for their collective and individual efforts that facilitated his release by the military. Your intervention not only reaffirms your commitment to the value of justice and fairness, but also underscores your resolve in upholding the rule of law in our great nation. I am deeply saddened by the loss of our gallant members of the armed forces and the untold hardship and displacement suffered by the Okwama community as a result of the actions of unknown elements that must be fished out and made to face the wrath of the law. May I extend my sincere appreciation to the media for their objective and balanced coverage of the events surrounding my detention and the, tragic, and the tragedy and the communal clash between Okwama and Okonoba communities in Ugeli South and Bomadi local government areas. We believe that on no account should any life be cut short in such horrendous manner. Therefore, we urge the relevant authorities to ensure that the perpetrators of these heinous acts are brought to justice. It is in the light of this unfortunate event that the House of Representatives at its plenary on March 19 debated a motion on the matter and resolved that this committee should investigate the incident and report back to the House for further legislative actions.